Okay, so what are we into at the lake today? Um, you know, we've been working on this Kawasaki 150 Ultra for a while. Uh, got a new rebuilt motor in it. Found out that uh, the pump wasn't sound. So um, we're going to rebuild the pump. Going to put a Solas Dynafly 1620 in it, which is sort of the uh, impeller of choice for that machine. Um, well, what we're going to do here is interesting. We've got a statter that's obviously seen a few rocks. And, you know, the dealer would say, oh, these are junk. You can't, you can't do anything with these. If you grind them down, it hurts efficiency. So, and, which is true. If you just try to grind these down and reshape them, it does hurt efficiency because you change the dimension between the leading edge of the statter and the trailing edge of the impeller. Um, so but what we're going to do is... Um, we're going to use some brazing rod. Uh, you know the crap that they sell as a Luma weld, right? We're going to we're going to use the Hobar brand from the local home center and a map gas torch and uh, we're going to wire wheel these, clean them up and then we're going to build up a bead of of uh, brazing rod which is like 80 some percent zinc and only like 5 to 10 percent aluminum and then some other filler metals but actually that zinc brazing rod is like uh, 30,000 pound plus compressive strength it's actually stronger and harder than the base cast aluminum in a lot of ways so um, it does put a good replacement surface on here so I'm gonna wire wheel this and clean it up and then we'll come back and look at it and then uh, we'll braze on some filler rod and we'll come back okay and look at so it again. we've wire brushed up the uh, damaged leading edges of this statter and um, now we're gonna heat it up with map gas and we're just gonna lay a bead of brazing rod on each one of these leading edges and then we can take a, a dremel and grind them down to shape and reprofile them and re restore the efficiency to better than new so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to get the map gas going and we're going to heat this up. Um, this Hobart stuff melts around 700, 750. So there isn't much chance of um, warping the original casting at that temperature. If you tried to TIG weld these or something, you'd run a really high chance of warping the housing in a way. And <clears throat> the ability to reline bore this nobody has that that i know of the part's not worth it okay so, so we've laid some uh brazing rod in here um you know i'm a big believer in when you do this get it hot and you know the, a lot of the manufacturers say oh rub with the rod rub with the rod i that doesn't work very well because it keeps adding material i like to get a screwdriver an old screwdriver and really scrape against the surface you're trying to get a bond on after you've got a puddle of the brazing rod scrape in that puddle to loosen up that oxide right you want to want to float that oxide to the surface of your brazing rod you don't want it between the rod and the base material so um, now we're gonna break out the uh, break out the Dremel and reshape and grind this. And uh, we'll come back when we're done with that. Um, and we, uh, we'll talk a little bit then about, you know, how we shaped it, why we shaped it the way we did. And then we'll get okay, ready to assemble. Okay, so we thought we'd just take a quick video. Um, got that zinc brazing rod laid in there. We showed you those pictures. Right now, we've just roughed it out. Uh, just taken off the, the mass exodus. Um, we're just roughing it in with, you know, a rat tail, uh, flat file, and a half mil bastard file, Sears and Roebuck, and uh, a Black & Decker Wizard with a carbide burr. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to extend the profile on the front face. So this is the working face in a statter, right? This is the part that's grabbing the spinning water and straightening it out. So this is really the face that's important. This is where the high velocity motion is, right? This is the lee face on a statter. This is the face where the water is sort of, this is the uh, inside of the turn on a river, if you will. So we're going to finish this up and then we'll come back 
and we'll um, shoot some more video after okay, we're done. Okay, so what are we into here at the lake? We're back on this uh, ultra statter. We've we've done most of the finishing work on the statter vanes. Um, we've just got a little fine work yet to do with uh, the the wizard, the Dremel, and a little emery cloth, and it'll be good. As you can see, those those all built up nice. We're not going to have any challenges with those leading edges. So that, that uh, braze solution. We do have to get in here. Whoever installed seals in here last, which is undoubtedly why we found water in it, they got them in here crooked and then decided to take the big hammer to them. So we've got to clean up this flashing in here and get this smooth so that the new seals will actually seal. So we'll finish up this little bit of handwork and we'll get these bearings pushed in here and then we'll show you where we're at uh, before we put it on.